I'm back. Today I'll be making old fashioned pinto beans and ham hocks. I'll be using pinto beans, about four ham hocks. This is a pound of pinto beans, one, uh, one pound. Fresh onions, garlic, hot peppers, a little garlic powder if needed, and red crushed peppers. Pepper, and salt. I'm gonna start with my pinto beans. Put them in here. Okay, they clean pinto beans. And then I put my ham hocks in here. I'm gonna cook them all at the same time. Put them in that, put them back. I think I use only three of them, three ham hocks. Before I put my water in, I just cut up my, my ingredients. And it doesn't matter how big you cut them up because by the time these pinto cook, it, all these veggies will be gone. So I'm just gonna start cutting them up. My onion first, okay? It don't matter. I'm putting them out. This is a whole onion, medium onion, yellow onion. And so I'm gonna cut up my garlic. Like I said, it doesn't matter because it takes pinto beans a good, uh, about three hours to cook. Cut them up. And these are gonna be some good pinto beans. A little spicy, just a little bit. I'm gonna put some pepper in here. This is jalapeno pepper, just cut up a little bit in here. And just a little bit, I want to put a little of that. A little uh, powder garlic, just to give it that taste. Okay. Crushed peppers, just a little bit. This is not gonna be hot, but you think it is, but it's not. Because by the time you keep adding water in it, it's gonna, you know, cook into the flavor. So I'm gonna put a little salt in here. Start with a little salt, because I don't know. As it cook, I'll taste and see how much salt I need, but I'm not gonna start with too much. And pepper. Okay. And and this is bouillon, a powder. I could have got the cube. This is just like a cube, only it's just broken down. And I'm gonna put this pack, and it's so, this is sodium free. So it's not gonna be salty, it's just gonna season it. Put a pack of that in there. It's chicken bouillon, sodium free. A little more in that. This is one pack, I'm gonna put about a pack and a half in here. Okay. I used to eat these when I was small. Uh, I think about three times a week. So I know how to cook these. Add some water. This is a, a bottle of water. Okay. Add some more. Because you want to uh, have enough water, not too much water, because you want to make the, the, the less water, the thicker your gravy is. Because sometimes, that's why a lot of people, when they're cooking pinto beans, the, uh, they put too much water in there so they don't make a, uh, the gravy be real thin. But this, if you put a little water and let it cook, and when it, when, let it cook until the water comes real low, because you don't want to burn your beans and then add some more water. I add hot water every time because I want it to stay boiling. When you add cold water, you got to start boiling again. But I always have hot water, I heat me some water, and I put them once it, once it cooks, start cooking, and I keep the water hot. So I'm gonna add this about, and once it cook for about an hour, I'm gonna add a little sugar and I'm gonna taste it. So I'm gonna put the top on here. I'm gonna let this cook, um, I'm gonna let it cook high until it get to a boil. Once it get to a boil, I'm gonna cut it and let it cook medium. So I'm gonna let this cook to it start boiling. And after it start boiling, I'm gonna put it on medium. I'm gonna let it cook for about a good, maybe two hours. Cause it take pinto beans between three and a half hours to four hours to cook. Okay then, I'll see you all in um, an hour and a half to two hours. 
It's been boiling for about 45 minutes and the water got kind of low. And like I told you, I always add, so that looks, I always add a little hot water so it can continue to boil. So I had some water boiling over here. I'm just adding just a little bit. See how it's still boiling? Because you want to keep it boiling. Put the top back on it. And the next time, I'm going to put a, just a little more water. Just a little bit more. Cover the, I'm trying to cover the ham hocks a little bit. Okay, that's enough. And I'm going to let these cook for another 45 minutes. And I'm going to check them. Then I'll probably add a little more seasoning to it. I might add a little. I haven't put any sugar in it yet. So I think I put a little bit in there. Now it ain't going to hurt. Put just a little sugar in there. Okay, that's it. Put the top back on it. And I'm going to let it continue to boil. Okay. I'll see you all in about 45 minutes. Okay, y'all. See how it's boiling? I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning to it. It's still, because see, I'm going to show you these beans. See, they still kind of hard. But see how that onion all that stuff cooked away? I won't put no more garlic in there. And it's boiling. I'm going to add a little bit more uh, salt in it. Just a little salt. Cause I'm adding water two times. Okay. Add a little bit more pepper, some pepper. Just a little bit. Let it continue to boil. And so once I always put a little pepper in it, just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let this boil until some it until it get dry and I'm going to add some more hot water into it. Cut it up a little bit because it's slow. Let it boil. And by the time, I think they've been cooking for about an hour and almost two hours. They've been cooking for two hours. Like I said, it takes sometimes three to three and a half hours to cook some pinto beans. So I'm going to put the top back on them. Once they boil, once they come uh, dry, get a little dry, I'm going to add some more boiling water to it. Okay, see you in about an hour. Okay, the beans are done. They cooked about three and a half hours, like I said. I added water. See how they look? Good to go. And I also cooked some cornbread. And I'll look at my video of Maddie's cornbread, and they'll tell you how to cook the cornbread. How to start from the beginning to the end. Black pinto beans and ham hocks, ready to serve. And they look so good. I taste them. They are ready. They are good to go. Okay, y'all, here it is, the finishing touch. My pinto beans and ham hocks and cornbread. I threw a little okra in there. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and tune in to Maddie's Kitchen. Thank you very much.